This week at COP, let's start in COP Hawaii, where 48 bags of groceries were given out to the needy in COP Hawaii's Love Out Loud program. Many prayers were prayed as people were receptive. This week at COP, we thank God COP for your love for souls. As during quarantine this 2021, you have won 20,706 people to the Lord. That's first quarter of this year. Truly, the gospel is not chained. This week at COP Davao, while the building project is being finalized, the members regularly give time each week to go to the site and pray over the land, the church to be built, and the people to be ministered to in that new altar for God in the earth. Plans are coming together and we will let you see some details as we get into it. This week at COP, would you look at this happy group? This is Sydney, Australia, and our members there have rented a hotel to meet in. From a Go group that started off with 12 people, Sunday was their first service to meet in the hotel and they were already 46. Looking forward to seeing COP Sydney very soon. This week at COP Davao, they were able to do our mini musical Life Giver. We thank God for 34 people saved, while in Cebu, in their presentation of Life Giver, 26 were saved. This week at COP, we praise God for the success of our Abeka homeschool facilitation here at COP. Throughout the pandemic, our students and teachers have continued with their live streaming education and have excelled. Recently, they held the most amazing literary and academic fair with 245 students participating and teachers and alumni helping to judge the various categories of contests. K3 to grade 3 prepared free recorded videos of show and tell, Psalm 91 recitation, sing and dance, and poetry recitation, while grade 4 to 12 joined in various contests such as vlogs, song competitions, slogan and poster making, essay writing, storytelling, and spoken poetry contests, all focused on the theme, isolated but motivated. Some of the most amazing, talented, and creative students presented, and we're proud of all of them. If you would like your children to be part of a Becca Academy, please contact Teacher Donna and take note of the parent seminar dates. This week at COP, we have so many testimonies of God's faithfulness during lockdown. We just need to share some with all of you. Be blessed, COP, and watch God's faithfulness in your own life. Jean Reyes, faithful editor of Senior Moments to Remember, spent much of 2020 in a no-work, no-pay situation. Still, she did not waver in her ministry and being in God's house. Now this year, one week before our lockdown, she transferred to a new job where the company provided her the workstation she needs to be able to work from home. God is faithful and His timing is perfect. The Samujo family is rejoicing because though Brother Bunny lost a job when quarantine started last year, God faithfully provided for their needs, but now Brother Bunny was able to get a better job, a managerial position with twice the income, better commissions and benefits. Abel de la Peña has come through his quarantine after being diagnosed positive, and while still in his quarantine, he received a salary increase. So he's now completely healthy, done with his quarantine, and returning to work with a raise in pay. Teresita Castro praises God for finalization of contracts and great collections, resulting in financial security during this ECQ. God's timing is always right on. Patrick Joseph Pulaon is thankful for his promotion in the midst of pandemic. Angel Locuiano, who is an administrative aide with the Philippine National Police, praises God for her promotion, not just one level higher, but two levels higher. Angel and her husband are 3 p.m. ushers. Joshua Ragasa is thankful for this 2021. He was restored to his position at the same company he worked for previously and for an early permanency. Not only that, but after praying over the phone with his Go Group pastor one morning, that very day he received a promotion within the company with a corresponding salary increase. Marsha Paduada is praising God for God answered their prayer for a new car. 
Sharon C. testifies that when their company was in retrenchment due to the pandemic, God provided for her and she was retained. Only moved to a different department. God is faithful. Virtue Serdena praises God for continuous work during the pandemic in her teaching profession and a salary increase. Brother Ed of District 15 testifies that though his previous consultancy had ended just before the original lockdown, God is still faithful. He never gave up applying at various companies and finally on his birthday, he was rehired by his original company but now as consultant to four groups of companies with his desired compensation package and working hours. As a bonus, his adult children have never lacked for work during this pandemic. In spite of a season of darkness, God provides. Jerry Catalina is thankful for continuous work during pandemic with not only a salary increase but also a bonus. Princess Trebo of our Praise Minstrels Choir works at a BPO company. Last year during company retrenchments, she was thankful to be retained. This year with rising cases, her company was again cutting back with retrenchments. And once again, she was retained. Thank God for his faithfulness. Rose Pagnamitan says when pastor told the congregation this was the year of restoration, she never knew it would happen so quickly. She received an increase in salary that was retroactive all the way back to July 2020. COP, we have so many more testimonies of God's faithfulness and provision in the midst of pandemic. Keep looking to Jesus, you'll have your testimony too. It has been another great week at COP.